Pollock, so unbreakable, aren't they? G'day everyone, happy new year and happy new mods for the Hilux. The obvious thing you can see right now, which is on the roof, we're not going to talk about that in this video and what's behind the grill, we're not going to talk about that yet. We're going to talk about what's on the back, what I've done to the tub. I've blacked out a couple of things which you probably noticed already. And I've also increased the storage capacity of this vehicle, made useful of some dead space. So let's get into that right now. As I said, most of the stuff's happening in the back here. We've got storage here, we've got storage cases in here which swing out. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Down below there will be some skipping points so you can jump to say the swing away cases or this hurricane storage case on the back or any of the lining stuff that we're going to talk about and the side steps. There's a lot of stuff to be covered here. We're also going to talk about the weights and heaps more stuff. Hang on a minute, am I wearing my shirt backwards? Oh my god, I am too. Ah uh, well, typical bloke. Anyway, you want to skip around down below, but let's get straight into it. We'll just clean all this out so you actually see what we're looking at. First thing we're going to talk about is the tub liner. Now there are three options you can do. I've decided to go for this one. So the first option is just getting a mat in here, like a heavy mat. They, they weigh about 20 kilos, probably not that expensive. You can go to Bunnings to get something to protect the bottom, stop things from sliding around. Then you've got the drop-in with the big plastic things and they also weigh a little bit. I've gone for the Linex spray-on stuff. Now this has also added weight and we're going to add the weight up as you already know if you watched the previous episode. So 16 kilos the Linex has added to the rear of my Hilux. To the tailgate, to the back here, the wheel arches. We've gone all the way up to just where the um, Ute Master load leak clamps onto. We've stopped it there because it doesn't need to go any higher than that. So the reason why I've gone for this stuff oh, there's actually quite a lot of reasons. One is it's kind of a bit like grip tape which will also help explain to you why I've done it on the side steps as well. It'll prevent rust, it'll prevent scratches, it also doesn't let the noise transfer through the metal too much, like if you knock that there, before it was quite tinny, so when things are bashing around in here, uh, it was making a bit of noise, like a hear for the cab, which isn't like a, you know, it's not that bad, but this does help a little bit. It's like a sound dentening. Just things sliding around, it doesn't slide around that much because as I said, it's a bit more grippy. That's the main reasons why I've gone for a tub liner. Now I've had tub liner in a previous Hilux as well for those who uh, have watched the channel for a long time. You would know I used to own another Hilux. Not only did we line X the tub, we also line X the, uh, I was about to call it a roll bar. It's not a roll bar, it's a sports bar. Just to black it out. I think it looks way, way better now. The mirrors, blacked out as well. I think this looks way, way better than what it did before. The thickness on the Linex on the mirrors isn't as thick as what's in the tub because of the tolerances for clicking this uh, part of the mirror back in. And it doesn't need to, you know, it, this is mainly just to get the effect and to black it out. It looks way better in my opinion. Now you know why I've chosen tub liner, but why have I chosen Linex? Now I've done a lot of research and that's why I want to talk about this. So first of all, word of mouth through Travis at PDP. He uses Linex on all these tread plates when he um, installs side steps on his builds through his um, workshop. The other thing is lifetime warranty, who offers that? And also with this specific Linex as well, it's military and industrial grade. Also, if you spill petrol in here, so if you've got your petrol jerry cans, you're carrying a motorbike or whatever, or a generator, it's not gonna eat through this stuff.
Now the process of it was pretty cool. So for those interested, stay here before you skip to the next part. They actually sand back all the clear coat of your paint. Well, actually sanding into your paint with like 80 grit paper. It's, it's pretty brutal watching it. Your paint actually being sanded off your vehicle. After that, they tape it all up. They put these little wire tapes in. So once they spray it, they can just, you know, to rip it out. It just cuts the line everywhere. It's pretty cool. The Linex consists of two components, component A, component B. They get mixed at 2000 PSI and 80 degrees Celsius. So it's hot stuff coming out. It starts bonding within five seconds and is touch dry within 10 seconds. So it's crazy fast. And this is how they can turn your tubs around in just a matter of hours. The pros and cons. We already spoke about all the pros. So let's not jump into that too much again. Although we'll bring up a few key points. Cons, I guess it is the fact that it costs more than putting a rubber mat in. So I guess there's a bit of pricing there. We'll get to the pricing of everything at the end as requested. Uh, the other con, I guess, is if you do this to your vehicle, it's not coming off. So that means that when you sell your vehicle, this goes with the vehicle. If you spray this on the outside of your vehicle, it ain't coming off. And you probably wouldn't want to take it off because as I mentioned, they take away the clear coat and your paint so it can actually stick to it. Once it's on, it's on. Key points on pros, it's scratch resistant, chemical resistant, UV resistant, and it prevents rust, scratches, and dents. So that's pretty much this tub covered completely. Now to my favorite addition on this episode. Not the gas struts, but that is an addition. It is the Hurricane storage unit. Now, I just want to say thank you to whoever it was that mentioned, maybe I think a few people mentioned about this unit. I should look at getting one of these for the Hilux. And I looked into it, and it happens that these guys at Linux also did this. So, bonus, bonus. Here it is, Hurricane unit. So, it makes use of the tailgate storage, which is generally dead space. And what happens is you cut out, there's one panel that just comes out, but the other bit you got to cut out. We even linexed the edges of it after it was cut out. So that was another scary thing to see was a, an angle grinder taken to my Hilux, which is only 7,000 kilometers young. The lid itself is steel and magnetic stubby holders can stick to it, which is good. Underneath we've got carpet as well. So I've actually added a few Velcro pieces on here, some crash pods. Now there is this bit in the middle here, that is a void, that's for the central locking unit, so that does take away from the space a bit, but you gain all this extra space here. So what have we got in here? Well, we've got a couple of little storage pouches. We've got gloves, even fits one of these survival shovels in here. And my tire repair kit as well. So there's actually quite a bit of stuff in here. And once I've gone on the next trip and I've packed the vehicle, I'll know exactly what I'm gonna keep in here and what I'm gonna keep in there. Now, one thing I probably will do to this is maybe put a stainless steel food grade plate on the top surface here. And then maybe line next to the other edges because this, as you can see, this is scratching a bit because I'm dragging stuff over and on it. Whereas, you know, the Linex, nothing scratches on that. That's probably just one thing I'll do, just to keep it looking neat. The first pro, Australian made and designed. The second pro, well, it makes use of dead storage. Look, I haven't tested it in the field yet. I've had it on here for a couple of hundred Ks, been off road a little bit, but it really needs the whole trip and I really need to work out what I'm gonna put in the storage unit because having extra space is all good and well, but you have to use the space to your best advantage, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, what's the point of having extra storage? So, the cons. I guess it's the price. It is a bit up there, but it is Australian made and designed, so it's kind of expected. Um, also, you get the confidence of Australian made and designed. You, I guess you're supporting the country as well. 
Um, it's not really a con, is it? It's kind of more of a pro. But that's all I can say at the moment until I've actually used this out in the field. Uh, I've been on a few dusty roads. I haven't noticed any dust getting into it yet, but I think that'll be the ultimate test for this unit is to do a real long dusty trip and see if the dust gets into the back of this. That said, however, I am looking at somehow sealing the dust on the end of this tailgate somehow. Um, so if anyone knows any good kits that actually work, comments below please, let me know. To the swing away boxes. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? This makes use of that, that annoying sort of gap you got from the wheel arch back to the uh, end of the tub or to the tailgate. Those little spaces where it's, it's, I wouldn't call it dead space because if you use it smart, you could mount a power box or compressor or something there, which is probably something I can do later, which means that one of these cases is going to be removed at some point. But for the time being, it makes use of this space that's in here. Lockable box as well, tire deflator and inflator in here, a few more tools. Got a little thing you can pull out. It's a bit like a dashboard, really. Another, another space here. Now, these are universal. So, which is going to be one of my cons I'm going to pick because had they made this unit just for the Hilux, it would have been even deeper. But, this will fit any unit being universal. So, I get why they've done it. This can hold up to 35 kilos, I believe. But, in this space here, I find it hard to get 35 kilos in. So, I don't think you're ever going to... Um, overload it. The other cool thing, if you want to remove them, it's out. It's out and you can put it anywhere you want. Because of that, there is a lock latch at the base of this unit, just here, so that it will prevent people from opening it and just pulling it out, because it doesn't matter if you lock the box, if you can rip it out, right? But you can actually put a padlock down here. What are these weigh though? 7.5 kilos each. Brackets, everything, the box, two of them, so we got 15 kilos we've added to the Hilux. The questions about these rock sliders have been coming in for quite some time now because I haven't talked about them. That's because I wanted to leave it for this video, and the reason for that is because I bought these from Linex. So everything in this video so far at stage three of the mods has all been done at Linex. So these are in fact unique 4x4 sliders. So now I've answered that question. That was the most asked question about these sliders. Uh, the second one was how good are they? Well, I've still got to use them proper, but I have actually rested the vehicle on it. There's quite a few different rock sliders on the market. The reason why I chose these was number one, the looks of them, but number two, which is actually probably more important than the looks of them, is how far they protrude. These stick out further than the tyres, and that's something I just want to really highlight here. What you want is a slider that sticks out further than the wheels or the tyres, because when your tyres are contacting something, this will then help push you off the bank. If these are in line with the tyres, well, the tyres are inside the guards, which means that your panels are probably still going to get dented. And the whole point of having these is to save your panels, save your sill. So a lot of people just worry about the sill underneath. <laughs> We've got to worry about the doors as well. This can help you a lot because when you slide into something, that's your first point of contact. And look, these can get scratched up. That's what they're there for. Apart from that, there's not much else I can say about these sliders. Oh, yeah. So they set me back about, I think, 1400 bucks. That includes freight. Linex had to get them freighted from over east. So that's what's on here. Uh, am I going to go for a unique uh, bull bar and rear bar? No, I'm not. That I'm still working out what I'm going to do. So that answers all the questions that I've been asked about these rock sliders. Total weights for the vehicle now. So on your screen is where we're at now. Uh, I can't remember the top of my head, but it's on your screen. And you can see that weight adds up pretty quick. So the Line X here is about 16 kilos. Everything that's done, including the mirrors and that. So that's 16 kilos plus seven and a half each of those boxes, the swing away cases. So that's another 15 kilo on top. And then we have 20 kilos for the Hurricane box itself. So now we're at 51 kilos. Let's take one kilo off for the metal that we cut out of the original tailgate. So now it brings us back down to 50. 
So let's add the side steps. The unique 4x4 rock sliders, which I installed myself, to my surprise only weighed 23 kilos each, totaling 46 kilos for the rock sliders. We then need to subtract the weight from the factory steps, which I have also removed. That is negative 12 kilos. This brings us from 96 down to 84. And this is the total tally how it looks so far. Part one and part two added 87 kilos. This time we added 84. We are now sitting at 171 kilograms. So it adds up really fast. And uh, you wait till we talk about the roof rack. You'll be surprised of all the stuff that you add to things, how it all adds up, even wiring, that adds up too. So let's keep the tally going and we'll see where we go. As requested, here are the rough estimated costs added to the Hilux in part three. Now, let me stress rough estimations because depending on where you are and what vehicle you have, some things may cost more or cost less. I will not be responsible for incorrect pricing. I don't have control on that. Every single thing that goes on this Hilux is my choice. It's my vehicle, my choice of mods. I'm not gonna put something on there I don't want. That sums up part three. So what was your favorite mod this time around? Mine's definitely the tailgate unit, but I'm very keen to know what yours is. You're probably looking at the roof. What about the roof? What about the roof rack? The lights, the six max tracks, why are they out there? You're gonna have to wait because it's not a finished product yet. I'm still adding stuff to the roof. I'm actually waiting for an awning to arrive from the US. Now it's a very specific size awning, a specific style awning, so I'll leave you guys guessing. Someone will probably get it in the comments below. Uh, but until then, if you've got any questions, them down below. Until next time, see you later.